So here's one of my finishes. I'll just show you what I've got here. I'm just about to take these up to the incubator. So what I've got is, this is a 5 over 5 frame configuration. I <clears throat> took it apart uh, the other day. I put a queen excluder between the top and the bottom five frames. And I know the queen is in the bottom. So then I just literally ease the frames apart. And then I stick my started cells, one bar per hive inside. So I know there. And there we go. They've been finished now. Look at that. Lovely cells, finished beautifully, without any hassle at all. Ready for the incubator. Now they're about day six, and you can see the wax has gone a little bit darker. But that's what I'm on about. You don't have to have the bigger setup. You just need one good starter, and you can run it twice, and then you leave it to restock. But you can get maybe 150, 200 cells from it if you don't run it properly. If you pack it in the first time, pack it full of nutrition, harvest them one day, one or two, put them into finishes, then stick another load of cells in your starter straight away. That's how you can raise, raise a lot of queens, but you must have the nutrition. You must have the pollen frames or the pollen sub and the sugar. If it rains like it is at the moment, you can see we just had 60 mil of rain and it's been absolute deluge. But what's happened, I've still got queen cells coming out this finisher. Easy.